Hey everybody, nobody's watching me yet. So I'm on a freeze frame, on a freeze frame of gangs of New York. And it's a real bad movie, yes it is. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the standard, I'm getting better at this, Sunday, 10 p.m. reading of Savage Sword of Conan. Happy fucking New Year. Tonight we have a special uh, story for you. I haven't read it yet. I'm trying to do something new where I read it live while you guys see it. Uh, we're back in my beautiful apartment in Davis. Real cool. Uh, tonight's beer of choice, because that's what's happening tonight, is Modern Times beer. Fortunate Islands. Which, if you're a familiar fan of Savage Sword of Conan, there are very few fortunate islands in Savage Sword of Conan. Conan usually ends up being attacked by dragons or... No, he's on a dragon boat in that one. Alright, so, with no further bullshitting... We will begin tonight's epic tale. Presenting The Treachery of the Grey Wolf. Script by Michael Fleischer, who has done some other good stories. Layouts by Val Mayerick, who I'm not familiar with. Furnish it, finishes by Ernie Chan. And lettering by Joe Rosen. So of these, the only one I know well is Michael Fleischer. But the art I checked out before, and it looks like a really good story. Here we have Grey Wolf, who I don't personally know, attacking Conan, who <laughs> we all do know very well. Okay, off we go. On a shallow alluvial plain, hemmed in by verdant hills, two warring armies are locked in mortal combat. Such scenes are common enough in the Hyborian Age, and yet, for all that is commonplace about it, Certain of its aspects are curiously deceptive. At first glance, for example, it seems clear that this horn-helmeted warrior is Conan of Samaria, and that he is leading the army of Aquilonia in battle against the mighty gold-armored leg legions of Ophir. Yet none of this is truly as it seems to be. For this man is not Conan, but rather mighty King Konar of Aquiloria, the barbarian sovereign of a time-lost land nestled beyond a curtain of eldritch mist. Yet so uncanny is his resemblance to Conan that he could easily pass for the Sumerian's twin. Oh, this one's fun. So this is actually going back to an alternate universe Conan timeline that happened in an earlier story. I think I might have read to you guys, but... Uh, okay, so this is alternate universe Conan. Think like Bizarro Superman kind of deal. As for this man, he is King Zarnoff of Ophit, a land which has waged sporadic warfare against Aquiloria for the past five years. It's a war about to end. Ah! Clang! Well, Zarnoff, will you consent to make peace, or would you rather I... No, please! I, I yield... I, I will sign a peace treaty with Aquiloria. I swear it. And so, hear me, warriors on both sides. Lay down your weapons. Let the battle cease. Another five years of fighting, during which I, neither side has been able to gain a decisive victory. King Konar and I have finally agreed to sign a treaty of peace and friendship between our two lands one fortnight from now. Now it is twelve days later, and in the notorious mall at Aranjun, Zamora's city of thieves. I hope you're not too unsteady from, a, from drink to walk a ways with me, Sumerian. I'd so much rather pass the night here with you amid the fresh scythed hay, ooh, than in the close musty confines of some wretched inn. Well, <laughs> Krom knows a comely wench has always been enough to make a musty inn seem like a palace to me, girl. But if you prefer it here... Aye, she does prefer it here, Sumerian scum. And so do we. Falcon men, carve him! Wow, this is an all-star cast. The Falcon men are assassins who've been trying to kill Conan since, like, episode 50. 
and they always, of course, fail. Krom's Thunder, the Brotherhood of the Falcon. I am so gratified you still remember us, you skirt. Blast! He, he parried my blow with the speed of a lightning bolt. Ooh! Encircle him, brothers. Encircle him. He's only got one pair of hands, after all. Ooh! She fell. Slice! And weave! Ooh! By Ehrlich, if you hadn't, if you hadn't sidestepped so quickly, that blow would have cleaned your, cleaved your head from your shoulders. Because he got sliced in the arm. As cleanly as... Gah! Slay him, you fools. Slay him. For if you fail, he's, he's liable to kill me for luring him here. Cease your mewling, slut. We won't fail. Our Assassin's League has laid a lot of good men to rest because of this wild main cur. Better reread. Savage Sword of Conan, numbers 84 and 93. Okay, so they've been following since episode 84. And what's far worse, his victories against us have made many begin to question our world-famed proficiency as masters of the killing arts. We simply can't afford... By the Falcon, who's that behind... <clears throat> Dead. I hope you won't take offense at a stranger's intruding on your fight, barbarian. Nay, stranger, I'm not offended. Ah! There is enough blood bledding to be shaped by all. Good. I am called Conan. <laughs> I know that. My master has told me much of you. In my land, I am known as the Grey Wolf. Your arm, has it been badly injured? Nay, see for yourself. Already the blood... <clears throat> wow, that treachery of Grey Wolf happened really early on in the story. I was thinking it would take a little while, but it just went straight to it. Be gone from here, wench, and see to it you tell no one what you've witnessed here. For the barbarian and I have business together, which only we must be privy to. So saying, the wolf cowed warrior departs with his captive. And soon. There it is, barbarian. The mist. We're here at last, barbarian. The world of the triple suns. I have brought you here because my royal sovereign bade me bring you. Konar, king of Aquiloria. Conan, I'm glad you're here, man. I have need of you, my otherworldly twin. Need me, do you? Last time I was here, you only wanted to kill me. Only because I believed you to be in league with those plotting against me. But since then, my beloved Zenoria has told me how you protected Aquilori in my absence. How you drove back the Dergs and thwarted a scheme by a clique of noblemen to seize my throne. Indeed, scarcely a single year has passed since Conan first chanced to pass through the curtain of weirdling mist, separating his own world from the strange twin world of the Three Suns. Mistaken for his exact lookalike. King Konar of Aquiloria, who had been abducted by traitors. Conan soon found himself seated on Aquiloria's throne. And although Konar does not suspect it, he also had a passionate love affair with Konar's comely queen, Zenoria, who fell in love with him, even though she guessed early on that it was not her real husband. <whistles> Ultimately, however, the real Konar escaped his captors, and returned to claim his crown. Believing Conan to have been in league with the plotters, he tried his level best to kill the Sumerian. And the Sumerian counted himself fortunate that day merely to escape the palace and flee safely back to his own world through the strange, obscuring mist. Now, however, in Aquiloria's great royal dining hall, and this is why I need you, Conan, for five years, I have been engaged in nearly continuous warfare with Ophit to the south and Nemeria to the east. 
The constant warfare drained my treasury and nearly drove me to defeat. But finally, at Sword's Point, I, uh, persuaded Ophit's monarch to agree to sign a treaty of treaties with me. But King Olar of Nemeria would do anything to stop the treaty, for it would leave Nemeria isolated as the sole enemy still warring against me. It is in hopes of forestalling the treaty, signing that the Nemerian dogs have kidnapped my Zenoria. Olar assumes I will postpone the signing long enough to rescue her, but a postponement would offend the Ophites and very likely tempt them to break off negotiations. That is why I want you to rescue Zenoria for me. Failing that, you must stall the Nemerians into accepting you as Konar until I have had time to sign the treaty. Grey Wolf! Yes, my sovereign. Grey Wolf is my most trusted warrior, Conan. He will see to it you are properly equipped for your journey. Fulfill this mission, Conan, and I will bestow upon you a bounty of gems such as even an eastern potentate would empty. Envy. <laughs> and then envy. And so, a short while later. Heh <laughs> Behold, Merrick. Events are unfolding just as our Nemerian masters planned them. Conar is quitting the capital to rescue Zenoria. He'll never be back in time for the signing. Soon. This is where I turn back, barbarian. We fooled them all, didn't we? Even the king's own mother would be hard put to say you are not her true begotten son. And what would be true of the king's mother is no less true of the brace of cutthroats lying in wait for rich wayfarers astride a nearby mountain pass. I, I can scarcely believe my eyes. It's the king. He must be deranged riding out here all alone like this. Deranged I, or else grown weary of living. This king, however, is far from deranged. Nor has he grown weary of living. Gah! As these two hill thugs would themselves freely attest. Mm. Were they in any condition to do any attesting at all? Meanwhile, back in Aquilorius' capital. Make way for his exalted majesty, King Zarnoff of Ophit. <coughs> Old Zarnoff's in for an unpleasant surprise, eh? Surprise isn't the word for how he'll react when he learns King Konar isn't on hand to greet him. But, moments later, I bid you peace and welcome, my friend. And I build you the same, Konar. Long may the newfound friendship between our lands thrive and prosper. Yet I do have one complaint, your majesty. What is your lovely queen? I've heard so much about her, I hoped to meet her. She is a... Uh... Indisposed, my friend, but I am hoping she will be up and about again soon. There's no mistake. That was Konar who greeted Zarnoff, but how? We still have several days of festivities before the signing. Still time to think of something. Now night has fallen, and a tawny, steel thewed figure, lithe and nimble as any panther, picks his way stealthily uh, up a nearly sheer rock wall toward the lofty watchtower guarding the southernmost approach to the Nemerian capital. This guy suspects not a thing. But here our dude comes, ready to fuck shit up. Even if you slay us both, you're still a dead man. Ah! Thwack. I've but to light that brazier in order to alert a... Dead... As fuck. While in the Nemerian capital, amid the royal dungeons of King Olar. Your rotten scheme won't work, I tell you. And you're fools to think it will. Ah, King Olar. I wondered when you'd finally get around to paying me a visit. And now that you are here... No need to wag your tongue at me, my dear Zenoria. I know exactly how you feel about it. You are convinced that your husband will allow nothing to stand in the way of his signing the treaty with Ophit. But as a man who had been your husband's hated adversary for many years, let me assure you, you are wrong. Your Kona is a proud and extremely vengeful man. He will feel obliged to avenge this affront to his honor personally. If you want my opinion, dear Zenoria, your beloved Kona is on his way here even as we speak, and you may rest assured we are ready for him. Will your majesty 
What do you think of... Oh, sorry. Well, your majesty, what do you think of our Aquilorian dancing girls? Be reasonable, Konar. Diplomacy is one thing, but you cannot expect me to admit that they are any comelier than our own feet girls. Conan, I love this comic. Woo! Besides, what I really look forward to seeing this evening is that exhibition of martial skills you promised by a renowned warrior, Grey Wolf. Did you hear that, Grey Wolf? We are ready, sire. Ooh! He is so ready. Kicks, axes. This isn't fair, Kona. During our years-long war, Grey Wolf always fought to kill. Ha ha! Now it's your turn to be reasonable, Zarnoff. You cannot expect Grey Wolf to slaughter my own elite guardsmen purely for the sake of a gladiatorial display. That was most impressive, Grey Wolf. We are indebted. Indeed. And now, if you have no objection, what I'd really appreciate is another carafe of that finely aged wine you've been serving. At once, my friend. Psst, Grey Wolf, over here. How is it that Konar is here fitting good King Karnoff when with our own eyes we have watched him leave the capital? The king you saw leave is an imposter, a lookalike, dispatched to rescue Zenoria in Konar's stead. Wow, double treachery by Grey Wolf. This guy just sucks. Hmm, in that case, Grey Wolf, tis best you make haste to Nemeria at once. To warn our master, King Olar, of this dire development. Conan, meantime, has arrived at the bank of a swift-flowing waterway, which extends underground to the network of sewage tunnels beneath King Olar's palace. And then he dives directly into the river of human excrement to go and do that stuff that he does. Swimming onward toward the bars. He pries open the bars, still completely immersed in, in human waste. And he swims to the top. He gasps. And he escapes the poop and the pee. While in Aquiloria, you won the last round, Konar. Now it's my turn. Blast, we've got to act soon. Otherwise, there'll mean nothing to prevent the treaties being signed. It takes Conan hours to make his way through the slime-encrusted maze of sewage tunnels to the halls of the royal palace nestled above. All that remains now, he muses, is to... He has been smelled. You, Outlander, hold and identify yourself. He books it. You lazy fools, take him! He can't run far, Captain. That corridor ends in a stone wall nearly twelve cubits high. But, by the gods, look, is he man or, or gazelle? Watch out! Ah! Mm. And then, with a bounding leap, the Sumerian is in the guardsman midst once again, slashing at their vitals like a jungle cat among prey. Ah! Hang on, men! Hang on! This will stop him! Abruptly, the tiled floor exactly and improbably beneath Conan's feet yawns open. And before his eyes, through the three-foot hole exactly where he was standing, looms a murk dark abyss. Quickly, Con quickly, quickly, Captain, have a look! That huge muscled intruder he captured. It's Conan of Aquiloria. Oh, wait, no, Corn Conar of Aquiloria. I'll inform the king at once. While at the self-same instant on the cold stone floor below. Konar, husband, is it really you? No, the light from the barred door etches your features more clearly now. You're not Konar, you're... Oh, Conan, my dearly beloved. You don't know how often I've dreamed and prayed that... Zenoria, listen to me. Whatever happens, you must not let them learn that I am not really Konar. On your feet, Konar, my old enemy. You're coming with me. Meantime, blah, 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 blah. Just look at them. Exactly a f you're barely a few days, and they've practically become like brothers. The signing's in less than an hour, but I have an idea how we can still stop it. And so, barely a quarter of an hour later, in an upstairs palace corridor... 
All in all, I would say our king is wise to conclude his treaty with King Konar. I concur with that opinion. As counselors to King Zarnoff, I think we may be credited with, giving, with having given him sound advice. Here's what we Nemerians think of your advice, Opit Swine. <clears throat> they were two of the highest ranking ministers in Zarnoff's retinue. When their corpses are discovered, I, Zarnoff, will hold the Aquilorians responsible and cancel the treaty. Dun dun dun. Meanwhile, in the Nemerian dungeons, our royal visitor displays a remarkable resistance to pain, wouldn't you say, Grotok? I mean, they put the spikes in the wrong place, so it can't really be hurting him that much. They should have put him, put him closer to where his body is. I, even my sharpest pinchers, heated to white hot, couldn't persuade him to part with the details of his capital's defenses. Still, there are other ways besides pain to price secrets from a man. I have brought the girl, Grotok. Hey, hey, why, Grotok, I do believe we've finally managed to get his majesty's attention. Now nah, he looks out of it still. He won't be the first man who's ever elected to tell all he knows rather than teach his loved ones. Watch his loved ones being flayed alive. <gasps> hmm, let's see. Now where do you suppose we should begin? The eyes, I'd say, after all, have always gotten along perfectly well with only one. <gasps> no, please. Conan, help me. Conan? Did you scurvy dogs hear that? She called him Conan. There's a long tail behind that, you slime crawling maggots. But by Crom, it's not one you'll be alive long enough to hear me tell. <laughs> He's free! Oh! She is so about it. Damn. Twould have taken the Dark Fiend himself to tear apart that rack. Ah! No flesh and blood more. He's so pissed. Thwack. No, no, I beg of you. And he punches him with the log tied to his hand. Boosh. Have mercy. Don't worry, girl. Conan, if, if that one escapes to spread the alarm. The only sound anyone will ever hear from him is the dry death rattle in his throat before I dispatch him to the House of Shades. <gasps> Long, painful hours on the torturer's rack have taken their toll on the Sumerian's speed and strength. But only the bony hand of death will ever quell his savage spirit, his indomitable determination to conquer and endure. Only the grave will ever rob him of the sheer barbaric ferocity that has made him the mightiest, most unconquerable warrior of his age. Ah! Just punching to death right here. One day death will claim Conan, as in the fullness of time it claims all living things. But when it comes, it will find Conan on his feet, sword in hand, fighting under the last breath to survive. Pull yourself together, girl. We're going home. And who knows but that if we travel swiftly enough. We may even arrive in Aquiloria while the festivities celebrating the treaty signing are still in full swing. There, I've penned my name to the parchments, your majesty. Now it's your... King Koda, sire! Blast it, man, couldn't this... Forgive this intrusion, I beg of you. But I've just come from the North Tower, sire. Two of Ophit's royal ministers have just been found slain. What? Slain? And in my host's own palace. I might have suspected as much. "'Tis not the first time we Ophits have tested the bitter fruit of Aquilorian treachery. "'Curse you, Zarnoff. Hold still your foolish old tongue. "'Can you see these murders fly in the face of my interest as they do yours? "'I'll root out the scoundrels responsible. I swear it. "'Very well. Find them, then. I'll grant you twenty-four hours to expose the culprits. "'But mark my words, Kona, if there is deceit in this. "'I am ready to return to war. "'If I could have one... Heartfelt wish, Conan. Do you know what it would be? It would be that you and 
I... Be still, girl. We've unexpected company, you and I. He's so cold. If it's your wish not to return to Konar, lady, then rest assured I am here to grant it. For in truth, my Nemerian masters would never forgive me if I allowed either of you to return to Aquilonia alive. He means Aquiloria, but we'll just kind of let it slide. It's alternate universe, let's not forget. Mount your steed, girl, and make haste back to Konar's side while I stay here to carve this worm. No, I... I won't leave you. The two fighters circle each other in wary silence. He is so bad, I guess. Swing! For theirs is a language that does not need to be spoken. A language of lightning swift reflex and iron sinew. Of eye baffling feints and hammer hard blows. ka Ugh! Ugh! Nice pose. I'll now bid you farewell, barbarian from another world. It was... Huh? Ah! Conan, that fool you took, are, are you all right? Crom blast you, woman. Didn't I tell you to go? <laughs> <laughs> I love Conan. Crom blast you. Crom blast you, woman. Didn't I tell you to go home? <laughs> Nay, barbarian, let her stay. I've got to kill her anyway, once I've settled with you. Huh! <laughs> Ka-ching! 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 Kick! Whack! Wrestle, wrestle. Into the abyss! Falling down. Splash! Oh no! From this vantage point, I, I can't see if anyone's come up. I'll have to move to a f spot further along the ridge. Dun dun. May the gods show me mercy. The heart of the young queen pounds wildly in her breast as she spurs her steed onward through forest and cropland. Until at long last. Tis her majesty. Hoist the portcullis. I'd rather barter a pair of my best falcons for the story of how she managed to escape the Nemerians. However this tale goes, Majesty, will be overjoyed. I butchered that line, but we'll just move on. Indeed, His Majesty will be. But tis unlikely his happiness will extend to these men. It's Sonoria, but without the king's double. To blazes with the double, we've got to round up every Nemerian agent we can get our hands on at once. Presently... I can scarcely credit your bizarre account, Grey Wolf. Disloyal? Is that what discomforts you most? That your trust in Grey Wolf was misplaced? Is it not far more tragic that... That Conan is... Dead? Tears? A waterfall of tears for a mercenary and thief from another world whom we hardly know? Or could it perhaps be that you do know him? Know him far better than I've dared to admit... Kona, please, what Blast! What in the shadows neath that archway? Who is it lurks there? Bah! So it's Nemerian assassins, is it? I might have known as much. You slew Zarnoff's two ministers, didn't you, scum? Kill him! Ah! He's got them crazy eyes. Bah! Come on ahead, then. I'll take you on. Or have you forgotten that I was not always a king pampered and catered to? But a barbarian sellsword from out of the brooding north who carved a swath of gore and blood from Oomph, Baraheim to the coast. Oomph, filthy spawn of a jackal bitch! Ha, huh, that's his catchphrase line. That was said in an earlier comic too. It's my favorite one. He is only one, yet he battles with all the fury of ten. Aye. But we are more than ten. Wait, look there. Grey Wolf. Good Lord, he's returned then. He will help. Gah. By Kron's bones, just which side are you on? Tis a fair question. And one that quite even, that's quite evidently on a number of other minds as well. He's switched allegiances, that's for certain. But why? 
Has he been with Konar all along? Or have the Ophites mayhap topped our price? Pa! What does it really matter which side pays him? He's chosen to stand against us, that's clear enough. And for that he dies. Slay them! I am but yours to command, sire. I am here, I'm king here, Grey Wolf, remember that. I won't have you hoarding more than your fair share. Good, I'm glad we have that clear. Uh, uh. Like brittle cattails in a howling wind, the Nemerian deathsmen crumble neath the gory onslaught of a broadsword and battle axe. And when at last the orgy of carnage ends, you kill as well as any man I've ever met, Grey Wolf. I do my best, sire. Conan? I slew Grey Wolf at the river, but knowing your capital was teeming with Numerian spies, I deemed it safest to impersonate them till I've arrived back at your side. Soon. You haven't second thoughts about the treaty, or have you, Zarnoff? Nay, only thoughts of how foolish I was for having lost my temper and accused you. Don't feel foolish. Had it been my aides who were slain, I'd probably have befaved far worse. Well, forget it, then. After all, it's the peace that's the main thing. You've a far away, you've a far away look in your eye, Conan, as though you were already a thousand leagues away from here. He's the wanderlust in him, Conar, the selfsame wanderlust you had ere you became king. Farewell, Conan. I trust that this time, unlike last, we part as friends. Aye, Conar, as friends. Conan, you will visit us again? If the gods will it, your highness. By Krom, I envy his unfettered wildness, his freedom. Maybe one day I'll blast you, woman, behave like a queen. <laughs> She's crying, and he knows why. Ooh. Off he goes. Into the fog. Dun 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 Hey, Trevor, glad you stopped by. Um, shouts out to you and my dad, who I'm pretty sure has watched this entire episode. I love you, Dad. Thanks for being, for being there. That's cool. I mean it. It's nice. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, mm, yeah, Happy New Year. Uh, that was the last story. I thought that was a really good one. Maybe if I haven't read it to you guys, I'll stop by and read you the original story of King Konar so you can get what that's sort of all about with the alternate universe thing and um all right cheers everybody all right love you guys thank you for those of you who tune in uh for doing so i really enjoy doing this and i'm glad that at least a few of you do too happy new year and i'll see you next sunday bye